Welcome back to Delicious and Nutritious. I am going to be your chef, Billy Lutz. So today, this video is going to be focused around guacamoles. How do you pick out an avocado? What you wanna do is you want to make sure that you can press into these. That's what you're gonna to have to do. So this one is gonna be a little bit harder. And this one is gonna be much softer. If you see the difference there, this one, more challenging to push into as you can see. This one is going to be a little bit easier to push into, meaning that this one is riper. We are going to need two avocados for this recipe. I have three. We are going to need, if you guys do want to follow the recipe exactly, I'm going to slightly modify this. It's going to be a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, a teaspoon of fresh lime juice, a quarter cup of red onion. So for this recipe, they ask for half of a regular jalapeno. I am going to use the pickled jalapenos. These ones are gonna be organic. And then finally speaking, great for the body, is gonna be cilantro. And then finally, obviously, we do need some chips. When we are talking about chips, I really like this brand. This is going to be a grain-free. It is going to be Siete. Okay, so first things first, we are gonna need to cut our avocados. Whenever I cut avocados, I am going to take off this little stem. What I suggest doing is you basically just put your knife into it. You basically make a circle. What I do is I then go ahead and here, I go all the way around a second time. So I, I did two full circles all the way around the avocado and then I can peel it open. And then when I am ready, right, it just sits like this. Look at this one. Man, that is how you want an avocado to look right there. It is literally perfect, comes right out, leaves absolutely nothing left. And the next step is going to be, you can decide if you want this in your guacamole or not, is going to be the lime and the lemon juice. When you do put this in, it really does change the guac. It puts much more of a sour bite to it. So if you do want this, you can, but today I am going to opt out of it. You can just star this multiple different ways. And you really just wanna get the knife in between. Sometimes the limes get a little bit hard in between each of the sections. And then, so I just go ahead and then squeeze it, put my fingers in there. And that's my really unofficial way of juicing a lime. We're gonna go ahead and start smashing this avocado. So another super easy way to do this is with a fork. But if you do have a potato masher, a potato masher is a great way to do that. Take it off the side and whip it together. Great whipped avocado. A little bit of chunk still in there. Next is gonna come up is going to be the cilantro. So when I'm using the cilantro, I don't really worry about the stems to be quite honest with you. You can, but what I do, I get a nice flat knife and I have it here. And then I'm basically just gonna chop that up. I'm gonna chop it a little bit finer here today. So we're looking to get two tablespoons of cilantro here. There's a rough tablespoon number one and a rough tablespoon number two. We now need the red onion. When I do onions, I'm gonna use the perforated knife at first so I can go ahead and go right there, cut off the ends. It's usually how I do it. And then I do a similar thing right here except I only do it half. And then I go ahead and I snag right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and peel all around the onion in a quarter cup and it's gonna be finely chopped is gonna be what they're requesting here. And then if I cut that properly, and then I cut like this, I'm gonna have a nice, finely chopped onion. All right, so quarter cup onions going into the avocados as well. Lastly, we have one of the most important ingredients. I really like the pickled jalapenos. I think it kind of brings a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of sour in there. So you guys can go ahead and chop this up if you want, a little bit over an eighth cup. And then we're gonna put that in there. And one of the final ingredients, one of the most important ingredients is going to be salt. I have pink Himalayan sea salt. And then I have something in another jar that's gonna be gray salt. A quarter teaspoon, and then we're gonna mix it all together, and then you're gonna taste it for yourself. And you wanna see, is that gonna be enough salt for you? Because you can always add more, you can't subtract the salt. So I am gonna go ahead and mix this up, make sure to get those onions. And another thing, if you're trying to go really chunky on this guacamole, you're not gonna to wanna to mix it too much right up front because you're gonna have these onions in here and then you're gonna to wanna to mix these obviously in as well. The cool thing is, is if you have the lime and the lemon and you try this, you're like, mm, I really like to have a little bit more of that citrusy, sour type feel to it as well. You can go ahead and add that in. You might wanna go just a little bit less on the salt, maybe a little bit under a quarter of a teaspoon, but honestly speaking, it's, it's really flavorful. I could definitely see some people wanting to have a little bit of that sourness added into it, but as of right now, that, that's extremely good. I, I really like that. Paired with your favorite Siete chip, 
It's gonna be absolutely amazing. When you're eating guacamole, you really want kind of like a straight up and down edge as well. Just because when you scoop, this has more chance that the guacamole is gonna start falling out. So having those straight up and downs is really good. This is a for sure knock out of the park dish. Well, thank you for tuning in guys. I appreciate you guys making some tasty, delicious, good quality, good dense fat food. That's going to be amazing for your Cinco de Mayo party. Make sure to share this video for anybody out there that's looking for an easy recipe to bring to a party. This guacamole is going to be a sure hit. It is in the pinned comments below for the complete recipe. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and I'm gonna see you guys out. We're gonna be cooking some more food very soon.